you've got an ad uh, out today that uh, uh, says the world's laughing at President Trump. Um, very strong ad uh, on the on the wake of this uh, recent NATO uh, meeting. Do you think? And the President Trump responded uh, not directly to the ad, but he said all we found over there was deep respect for the United States in the meeting. Do you think he actually believes that? Or do you think that privately he fears that he's being mocked, ridiculed, that he's not respected? How could he not know that? How could he not know that? He, he turned around and he called the Prime Minister Canada two-faced. He turned around. The idea he doesn't know that. I mean, look, this president thinks if he says the lie long enough and often enough and repeats it enough, somehow people will believe it. Look, the reason why is, is I'm, not, I'm not happy that President of the United States got mocked. Yeah. But what it says is we lack the respect of the rest of the world that we had in spades before. Those people in that video were leaders of NATO. Vladimir Putin wants NATO weakened and divided. Uh, Nancy Pelosi today, when she was announcing uh, the drafting of articles of impeachment, said uh, that, in essence, the Russia... Uh, 2016 scandal and the Ukraine scandal are the same, are different pieces of the same story, that all roads lead to Putin. Do you see it that way yourself? I do, in Europe, absolutely positively. Putin has had, uh, I, I, I know Putin. I've had private time with Putin. I spent time with him, looked in his eyes, as they say. This is a guy who has one overarching desire, to break up NATO and to have America pull away from Europe, the Euro-Atlantic Alliance, because that's the one thing he cannot penetrate if it's strong. But if you have 28 nations all going their own way, he becomes significantly more powerful. And what happens? When you live next door to the bear and you don't have anybody protecting you, doesn't have that shotgun out to make sure the bear doesn't get you, then in fact you begin to make accommodations. And why do you think President Trump wants to help him? I don't think the president of the United States today has any notion of geopolitical concerns. I don't think he, look, this is the guy who said, and I thought at first it was kind of a joke, but it wasn't. Remember he said seriously a couple months into his administration, you know, this job's harder than running a real estate empire. He knows nothing about foreign policy. He knows nothing about nuclear deterrent. He knows nothing. I mean, he's demonstrated, and look what's happened. You know, I actually, privately, encouraged a number of generals, senior State Department people, foreign policy experts to stay in the administration. Don't leave. Look what's happened. But is your judgment then that it's ignorance, um, uh, that he doesn't understand geopolitics, as opposed to he is purposely uh, helping Russia and Putin because he is compromised in some way? All I know is the results are the same. I can't read his mind. He has done things that seem to me to be completely contrary to reality. When he stands before the whole world at a G20 meeting and says that I believe Vladimir Putin did not interfere in our elections and these 18 intelligence agencies that work for us in fact do, they think he did, but I think they're wrong. What is that about? That's the question. I don't know, but the result is the same. It has drastically weakened our standing around the world.